Now, the after show, we usually sit around and I just dance. No, there's no dancing going on. Um, great questions this month, by the way. Just, just to, yeah, nobody did call in. I do have call. If you want to call in for the after show, the number, I really need a lower third. The number for the after show is on the screen. Where is it? If I was really good, I would just build in a lower third to my big fancy video switcher, this thing, which can absolutely do lower thirds. Why am I not doing a lower third? It's like thinking. I need to, <laughs> need to, to just have that up all the time. It's kind of hard to see granted um if you, i have 30 minutes left on my on my blog talk radio dial in to see what what that's about um a lot of different uh questions this month let's go through some that i weren't wasn't able to get to uh where did i put them if you were a set of questions where would you be um Where would they be? Um, blah, 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 blah. They would be in your study group folder. So let's go through some of those. Yeah, nobody wants to, nobody wants their voice on the air. You know, one of the things I want to do in the future is just a show at the end of the day. Um, that would be just talking about the technology of the day or certain, certain technology topic. There have been so many great things in the news. It would be great to go through some of those, but we don't always have the flexibility to do that. Now, where's my A plus study group? I'm on the wrong computer. I'm thinking I'm on a different computer, but no, we're on this computer. Questions, questions, questions that come up. I'll oh, see somebody. I, I that's what happens when you beg for for calls. Is you get calls. Now, this will be an interesting test because I'm not sure this will actually work. So we're going to take the 215 area code. Welcome. I'll see there's echo, isn't there? Oh, I, you know what? That's the stream. So I'm going to put you. Hi. Hello. I hear a stream in the background. Yes. There it is. That's a little better. Welcome. What's your name? My name is Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Thanks for calling in. Thanks for trying out the call in. Hopefully that sounds okay on your end. Very clear. Oh, good. Good. Do you have a question? Do you have a comment? Are you just seeing if this thing even well, works at all? Well, for the beginning, it was a wonderful study group. Thanks. Um, appreciated all of the content, but I am one of those frustrated um, A plus students who could not pass the seven more one. Oh no! I am currently doing um, a health informatics degree, and it's based on health information. And part of my degree requires that we do A plus certification database. And I have passed everything successfully and really thought that I understood the material for A plus 701 and failed it twice, each time shy of 5 or 10 points. Oh. So now I'm now enrolled into 801 and hoping for a fresh start. And I have started utilizing your videos, which has been helping a lot. So is there anything that you can help me with? Tell me what resources you are using now to study on your 801. So you're watching the videos. That's one. What else are you using? I am using Learn Smart through my um, university. It's okay. a new resources, a new resource because we were using something called LabSim before, and it was quite boring and dull. So now we're using um, Learn Smart, and I'm also using Professor, um, I think, is Myers Text. Okay, right, Mike Myers, absolutely. So his book Mike is that Myers. the the big all in one book. Is that what it's called, yes. or is it his? He has a lot of different books. There's an all in one, which is this <laughs> big monster book. Right. Okay. That's and it. it's very complex. It is. It is. It is. You know, his books uh, make fantastic uh, tomes to be able to read and keep track of after you're done with your exam because they're so detailed. But one of the disadvantages, of course, is that they go into such detail that they go way beyond what you would ever need for your A plus exam. And it's a lot of reading. Um, his his style of writing is very good, though. If you had a chance to read through it, he's he's kind of funny couple chapters um it's interesting um as i said going to you know trying to eat a one is a little different I'm, everything is different it's it's starting over in a fresh 
a new leaf with from 701 to 801 new resources you know new new information it's it's like it's it is it's new it's, it's new information but it's some of the old it's a little bit of the overlap there um, yes. I would agree with that. I think the Learn Smart that you have, is that a, a virtual lab type environment? Yes, it is. Perfect. Uh, there is one other book then I can recommend for you. You might want to, if you like Mike Myers and what he does, uh, there's a lot of, of course, A-plus books out there. But one that is good, is he has a, an A-plus book that doesn't go into such detail about this. Um, and let me find out the name of it. I read through it. A while back, it's his one called his passport book. Uh, the passport book is one that takes the same information from that book, but it really gets it down to just what you need to know for the exam. So you might want to consider either uh, buying, borrowing, or doing something with a second book of that kind. Before you went in to take the exam, did you do any sample exams or go through any sample Q and A books? What I did, um, we were using a web a resource called LabSim, and I was just constantly doing the exam questions okay. over and over, and I didn't try anything else. Gotcha. I'm going to point you to another a book that I really like for exams, and it's and it's a book. It's not a sample test that you would take online, and and these are generally speaking, whenever you do a sample test, whether it's online, whether it's in a book. They, they come pretty close to what you need. I tend to like the books a little bit better. This is one uh, that is from from uh, David Prowse, from the, I think it's a pro metric, no, a Pearson View um, author, Pearson View publisher, but it's called the Exam Cram Practice Questions Book. And I, I promote this in the on the website all the time I, um, because I read through the book and it's got three sections. It's got one where they ask you the question, and then it's got one where they give you the answer, good so far, and then they have a completely separate section that breaks down the question into detail and explains to you why one was correct and why one was not correct. And I think that to me was the most important part because I could look at the question, I'd get it wrong, and then I could read immediately why I got it wrong. And even though it was this, this hard code, hardcover book or, or softcover book, and they do have Kindle versions of this, uh, really, Kindle price is only ten eighty, uh, a bargain for that particular book. Just, just fantastic the uh, resource, and that really helped me understand not only the content but how to think about how the questions will be asked of me. Um, one, one last question for you: uh, When you took the seven hundred series exams, you got the results back. Did you keep those papers they gave you after the exam was over? Um. I submitted them to my school, no. Okay. But well, I can get a copy of it. That would be useful, if only to give yourself some validation of what you knew and what you didn't know. Because every time you pass or even not pass the exam, um, there is a li they'll print out for you the different sections of the exam, operating systems, networking, troubleshooting, whatever it happened to be, and they'll tell you how much of it you got right and how much of it you didn't get right. They won't tell you what you got right. They won't tell you the exact question but they'll give you a percentage complete. So you might look at that and your operating system is 90% and networking might be 12. And you're like, oh, okay, I really need to work on my networking piece. I did okay on operating systems. And that might give you at least a direction to go for studying and thinking about what to do or what to study up for the next one. And, and of course, download the objectives and use those as well as a study guide. Every book you find will cross-reference the objectives and they usually print them out in the book as well take advantage of that too. And hopefully that will give you the information you need to really get every, all, you know, bring it all together and just walk into the 802 and the 801 exam and just tear them up. I got to pass this 801 exam. Thanks. Don't, don't even let it, don't worry about the other pieces. Oh, and that, that video I showed you today on the exam experience, you kind of got the multiple choice, but of course in the 800 series, you may be asked some performance-based questions. So make sure you look at that video too and, uh, and okay. understand what are they, they going to ask of me? Because that's going to be a new part of the exam you've never seen before. Okay. Well, best of luck. I, I really want to hear from uh, the study things you're using. Please let me know. Send me a note at the top of my webpage is the Contact Us link. That goes right into my phone. So please let me know how that goes with those pieces and how you're studying going. And if other questions come up, 
leave me a note there as well. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. That kind of worked nicely, didn't it? You know, that's one of the struggles we have is there's so many different places to go for content for our exams. What is what is that where there seems to be now this 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 wealth of information? And I love some of the books that are out there, but some of those books have so much detail in them. Uh, I love being able to go through and read the books and see what's there. Um, I use the Mike Myers all in one book as my first book when I took the A plus. I'm reading it like this is a lot. I need to know a lot of information for this exam. I I got a little bit taken aback. I was a bit agog after reading that Mike Myers book because I'm I'm reading through it and thinking, gosh, I'm there's so much here. And then the neck, I put that aside and I grabbed the A plus dummy. I read the entire Mike Myers book all in one. I grabbed the A plus dummies book. I'm reading through like this is so much easier. <laughs> This is so much smaller. There's so much less information on here that I need to know. And I thought I should have started with that one. Um, and then, of course, I found the Mike Myers passport book and thought that's the one I should have started with. And now, of course, uh, the the um, if you get the uh, the online GTS learning labs that we looked at today, those come with a book as well uh, to be able to do that piece. Um, I should have put the number back up. For you guys if you wanted to call why can't i do a lower third in this there's just there's just lack of planning people it's just not it's just a very very bad idea now um i will say what i want to be able to do is also skype in um and you could technically do the skype in with that piece as well uh, i think there's there's a lot of things you can do uh, but part of the problems is that this is kind of set up to be a call center type configuration or a configuration that that has uh, multiple lines coming in. And it's actually set up on this that people could take a, um, uh, a can call in and just sit on hold and listen. Um, and technically speaking with Blog Talk Radio, which is what I'm using for this, you can um, register with them for free and then you could Skype in. So I'm thinking of setting up a page in the wiki where that could could describe how people could call in for those pieces. And maybe what I'll do also, I, I asked about this on, on this piece, um, uh, in the, in the, in the, uh, the calendar invite, um, for people to record their question and just send it to me. So maybe that's something you can think about doing as well is just grabbing your mobile phone, going to your recording app and saying, Oh, uh, I've got a question. It deals with a book. And how do I do this thing? You know, 30 seconds long and just email it to me and then we can play it on here as well. It doesn't have to be live and in that piece to be able to do that. I think that's that's one of the things that might help as well. I want to be able to, it's nice to be able to hear you. It's nice to be able to get more than just an email from everybody. In my my blog talk radio, I've got 18 minutes left. If you want to, if you'd like to call in, you can do that. I'm going to talk about some other things. I have that list of questions that came up that I wanted to go through for the study group. Of course, any other questions in the chat room, if anybody has questions about really anything, we can, this is the after show. We can talk about anything on the after show. And uh, sorry, we, that poor fellow, he's not in the chat room anymore. So uh, please be careful about uh, mentioning things that you probably should not be mentioning in the chat room because uh, you won't be there anymore. Um, questions. Uh, I think I talked about Windows 8 on the new, I didn't really answer the question that was asked last week as well, was Windows 8 on the new test, and it is not. And, you know, they may sneak Windows 8 into the exam. They might they might somehow get that Windows 8 stuck in there. I think that if they did, if you recall, when they first came out with the 700 series, there is, um, there is a... Windows 7 was not on the 700 series. Wasn't there. Wasn't, when, they, when they first released it, it wasn't there. And what they did was they added it later on, but didn't change the number of the exam. That was really confusing. Um, and, and I understand why they did it that way, but it was really confusing. Um, that part, eventually we all figured out. In fact, somebody sent me an email that said, hey, did you know Windows 7 is on the exam? And I said, Windows, Windows 7 is on the exam? Oh my gosh, I, I had no idea. So I ended up 
updating my videos at that point for not just Windows 7, but IP version 6 was added. There were quite a few things that were added. Um, that was that was a surprise. They could do exactly the same thing with the 800 series. We could wake up one morning, and now Windows 8 is on the A-plus exam. So currently it is not. We can look at the exam requirements, but every time I download the exam requirements, I look at the operating system list for that very reason. Uh, that that part I think is uh, is useful for people that are are trying to study for the very first time and have no idea what might be there. But who knows? They might very easily um, add that Windows Eight at any time. So I'm going to take someone's advice in the chat room and put the phone number on the banner at the top. And I could have also put it on the live page prior to doing this. These are things you think about once it's already done. Uh, once, once you're, once you're finished and you you've now done the entire study group and there's like 15 minutes left on the dial in that's, uh, that's, oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, let's have a look in at some other questions that came through. I'm going to clear my cash out so we can at least have that on the top of the page for people that refresh and get to those. Okay. Another question that came in was. Of course, I could have do a, done a lower third, too. These are things that you figure out once you're going through. I agree with Roy. The operating system comparison questions on the exam are extremely challenging. I just have to remember the raw numbers, um, just the raw data. It's so difficult. How much RAM did Windows XP Professional require? Ugh. Okay, I think I know that answer. How much memory did Windows 7 need for... That's that's a challenge. And of course, on the eight the 800 series exam, they had a Windows 7 Enterprise, which was not on the 700 series. That was really the only difference. Yeah, Windows 8 is going to be a treat to have on the exam. It'll be here eventually. It's going to be there. That's the latest exam. Of course, it's going to be there eventually. Um, but that's it's one of those things where you just run into knowing when they're going to put it on there. Okay. Um, there were some questions. I saw some questions with people that were talking. I haven't even researched this, but there were questions in the chat room, I think yesterday, where people said, what, what, the, what was the passing rate? What is the passing rate for the A-plus exam? And some folks were going, oh, it's 10%. Thinking, that's, that's really low. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't think that's quite that low. And I don't believe CompTIA publishes those rates. Maybe somebody in the chat room has seen videos. I think it's pure speculation or maybe they may have mentioned something unofficially in a um, interview somewhere, but I've never seen passing rates for the exam. Um, just not one I run into. Uh, another question. Um, we talked about exam um, pieces a lot of registry questions this week. There must be a lot of people having registry problems because a lot, a lot of registry questions. Somebody was asking, uh, uh, Jay was asking, how do you know what items in the registry go to what? You know, that's, that's, that's the question we always ask when we're in the registry. What in the world is this? Why, where, where is this information even going? The registry is such a huge database. It's a real challenge to be able to find that um, and be able to do anything with that. Um, the, the, for, I, I can see the chat room. You don't have to repeat things. Uh, the 700 series objectives are under the a, list of A plus videos. So at the, on the website, uh, let's, I can show that. I could show my website. It's in the menus on the website. Right here at the top of the website is a big menu that looks like this. And uh, at the top, these menus, training, A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, Linux+, plus, Microsoft. Under the A+, plus is at the top, of course, the 801, 802 videos. And I stuck the free A+, plus, 701, 702 videos way down here. So they're just at the bottom of the, of the menu. The reason I put them down there is you shouldn't be reading them. Of course, some of you, I realize, are trying to get this in before the deadline. Uh, so they're still there. You can click on them. They take you there. See? All the videos are there. Those old school blue formatted videos where I was wearing headphones. Those were the days. 
the big old, let's see these, big old headphone. Oh, there's, remember music? Remember when I used to have music? Welcome videos? to this module of Professor Mass. Look at the, serves free com like a completely different format in the, in the studio. Dual channel. So I'll put him away there. Different background. It's all different now. It's different, completely different. But well, not completely. A little bit different in the background now than what it was there. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, I don't do the music anymore. Alas, the music was nice, but um, too many copyright problems uh, around the world. Um, the music I paid for. The music is designed to be used for things like that. It's nobody's song they wrote. It is it, uh, it is completely licensed. It was written specifically to use for these things. I purchased it. I own the right to use it wherever I want to in anything. Um, the problem is that in certain countries, I'm looking at you, Germany, if there's any music at all in the video, you can't watch it in Germany. And unfortunately, we have... Um, folks that are stationed in Germany and the IP address they use to get out to the internet is in Germany. And so they can't watch any of my videos. So that's, that's, that's not good. So I just got rid of the music, no music. I want everybody to see these and I can't get around the German filter. You, you just can't what there's music. You can't watch it because there is a, uh, the, the, the GEMA G E M A, which is the kind of the music group in Germany, they don't have a way to compensate people properly on this crazy internet thing. Internet, I don't understand this internet. So they, since they don't know how to do it, they just turn it off. Thanks. Thanks, Germans. That's, that's such a German response. We don't know how, we turn it off. Done. That's it. So I don't have music because of that. That's why I don't have music here on the live stream. That little bit was it. Hopefully that won't get axed in Germany. I'm going to have to go back and edit out the music. So if you're watching the replay and you're like, what music are you talking about? Because I edited the, I also have had videos with the music. Get There's a, there's a fingerprinting system on YouTube so that people, when they upload copyrighted material, that fingerprint will match my video and it'll get pulled. It'll get taken down for a copyright infringement. And, and there's no human to talk to. So you have to go through an automated system where the other person who, who had the complaint now or the, the piece that was automated now has to be informed by the person who had the original copyrighted material. Of course, I'm saying it's me. I recorded my head on my slides. It's mine. I built it. It's not a copyright infringement, but it, it takes days to go through that piece. And they finally, oh, yeah, you're right. This got flagged wrong. There you go. We'll put it back for you. Um, that's that's difficult. So by removing the music, it is much more boring. It is much more boring. But that's that's what you're going to do. That's that's the problem with those things is you just can't get away from it. So that's why there's no music. There's a little story on the post show for uh, for no music. Let's go back to some of the questions. Any questions in the chat room? It's, I I like I had some great music too. I had things I really wanted to do with that. Um, and if you want that music, <laughs> you could buy it yourself. Um, where was that? I'm trying to think about the name of the song and where I got it from. And the song is called like Brown Dog or. I I don't know some funk tune from some sound piece. Let's see. I don't have this up on the stream, do I? No. I'm gonna look at my mail and see if I can find the name of because now I want to know what that is. No. Oh, here it is. I found the link. It is called Brown Dog from Smart Sound. Is it gonna pull it up? Are they even around anymore? Is the company I bought it from? Yeah, they're around. So here's uh here's smartsound.com. This is what they do. Royalty free music. I hate I'm going down and right here. Brown dog. We're gonna play it. And we're gonna have the whole video taken down. Oh wait. 
See, I cut off. I cut off the beginning of it. I cut off. Can I even play the from the beginning anymore? I can't. It was on for a while. I got the long version of mine. So you're going to see a cut on the. Uh, going to see a cut in the replay. Like suddenly, we're talking about something else. Yeah, I cut out all the music. Sorry, replay. If you don't watch live, that's uh, that's what you get. So there's a little little part of my world dealing with the things on the back. And you think you just make a video, you stick it online, you're good. There's a there's a lot of stuff around that to be able to find those types of things. Boy, this you bring up that ethics book, Robert, about uh, privacy, copyright. Certainly in the news now about privacy and being able to. To do those things i think oh we got another call so we got uh five minutes left on my call so i think it'd be best to take those calls from the 313 area code uh hi what's your name welcome hi hello hi how are you yes i'm fine you uh hello my name is guy can i uh and my question is with the uh with the new uh windows say uh with the new uh windows say assist uh, also good uh, uh, where can I find uh, uh, resources to, uh, to learn more about uh, uh, resources to assist uh, Windows 8, which may uh, mainly for um, um, the user experience, uh, um, because you can't get to, uh, uh, that's a completely different other way to get to safe mode. <laughs> completely and, different. Uh, uh, the BIOS. Completely different. Uh, the BIOSes are going to be different. The the way you administer it on a lot of people don't realize in Windows 8, the back end systems for administering the operating system itself is a lot of differences, a lot of improvements there. And you'll notice that I would imagine from the question, I don't have any Windows 8 videos right now. You'll you clearly have noticed this, correct? Yes. <laughs> yes, there's there's none. Um and I have that Windows 7 course, this 7680 course on configuring Windows 7. And although I wish I, I was able to do more Microsoft-related courses, I don't have any current plans to be able to do any additional Microsoft-related courses. So it's, that's kind of sad. Um, but I get a lot of questions about Windows 8, what I think is going to happen. And this may be soon or it may be a year from now, is when CompTIA adds Windows 8 to the A-plus certification, I will be adding some of the pieces in there because you're going to have to know how to get to safe mode, how to uh, how to update the boot sector, how to fix problems in Windows 8, which I don't have now. But I just until they do that, I don't have any plans to add those pieces, unfortunately. And I cr don't currently have plans to add any Microsoft related videos either. There's just too much competition on the Internet for those that uh, I don't really get a lot of people um, looking at just Microsoft videos from my site, although uh, like as your call certainly makes sense to me uh, or or certainly uh, just uh, just solidifies in my mind, people want it. They, they're asking about it. They would love to have it. And I just don't have the resources currently to be able to do that because I this is something I do uh, as another job. I, I have a full-time job already. This is my other full-time job. And I wish I had time to do all of my courses. So unfortunately, I wish I had a good answer for you and i just don't i'm sorry okay uh thanks a lot i feel bad thanks for calling good to talk to you okay. the, one of the things i i always struggle with is what do i do next there's um there's another course that will be updated compti is updating um security plus network plus i think security plus one of those at the end of the year um there will certainly be new ones added there uh, along those lines. I think that's uh, whenever I work with and get a new idea for a project, it's a big deal. It takes months to put together one of these video training courses. And the, the end goal is I want to have a complete course. I want to be able to package it up and have an offline version. I want an online version. And I want also now transcripts and closed captioning. I want high definition. I want quality. You know, one of the things you'll notice is that the the entire studio is different now than it was a year ago. There's different cameras. There's different audio. The audio is fantastic now. Um, there's different video. There's different everything. Um, that's that's thank you. I think it's security is being updated, but that's you know everything is different now in the studio. It's just all very very different. So 
Um, I'm always trying to take it to the next level. And when I think about what course I want to do next, Microsoft obviously is a popular set of topics. Of course, that means you know, Microsoft has 500 certifications you can get. That's actually a small number. I think it's more than that. And the Microsoft obviously takes a 90 long time. seconds. There you go. Microsoft obviously has a long time, uh, takes a long time before you can, can really get a course done. Um, so I have to pick and choose. But there are things in the works. I'm currently in the process of doing Linux videos. That's good. I have plans for other courses that I've started on the planning process because I have I create the entire structure of the course before I start any videos. Um, so that's one of the things that uh, that you run into um, with those pieces, being able to to work with those. Um, well, I think we've now obviously hit the end of my. I get two hours a day on my call in. So although I still have that number at the top of the screen, unfortunately I can't take any other calls. That was great. By the way, that was pretty awesome. We need to do more of that. We need to make that easier. I really like that idea. I'd love to have that as a separate dial in. Uh, maybe that's what I'll work on next time. I think that'd be great. And we'll just promote it and have people calling in. I'll, I'll just sit here and <laughs> here's the beginning of the next one. It was like, welcome to the study group. Let's take your calls. We'll just do that for a while. That'll be great, won't it? All right, we're up at the top of the hour. Been going for a couple of hours now. I think it's I think it's time to shut down the system and start editing. In fact, I think I missed the first part of the after show. So now I have to go back to YouTube and grab the video that's saved there and then pull it back and kind of splice it in to the study group. This is These are the weird things now I get to do with post-production. You know, one of the things I mentioned, and that's one of the things, that, that right there, that very reason of me not hitting a record button, is I don't have backup recording in here yet. Um, where is it? There we go. I don't have backup recording in here. Um, it, it's kind of hard to see. All of my equipment, are in, it's in racks. It's down here. So it's in there, kind of hard to see other pieces. So I'd like to be able to get additional equipment in there to be able to uh, to have extra recording done. So that that'll be that'll be next on my list. Maybe we'll have that by by that piece. So we do need a do need a different live stream set up with separate calls and other things. So there's a lot that needs to be done. I'm working on it. It's a it's in progress. I get to be able to do those things, but uh, that's, that's one of the challenges with putting it all together. I think it's working pretty well so far. Camera looked better this time. Audio worked better this time. Dial-in to phone calls worked better this time. So just keep moving it forward. Just keep moving it forward. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Thanks for being in the chat room. Thanks for all your questions throughout the week. It really is fantastic to have this here. Just a, just a great time that we have. I hope to do more of these and more often. So we'll have to plan on that for the future as well. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.